Amazing stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, Mao's have topped their group. Welcome back to the house show brought to you by Mao's. As you can see, I'm currently stood behind Mao Sports office. So why don't we head inside and have a chat with the guys? Okay. Hello. We're waiting for Pala now. He should be here any minute. Wait till he comes in. Yeah. yeah Pala should be here any minute. So let's wait for him. Can someone open the door? Good talk. Wait, wait. I'll open the door. Yeah, wait. Someone's knocking. Yeah, he's coming up now, guys. Yeah, hey, here. guys. Oh, Chris. <laughs> he's coming up the Alan, stairs. Alan, <laughs> Robin, Uzga. Finn, do you mind if I take a seat? Is, is that cool? Yeah, you can take a seat, it's fine. All right, thanks, guys. Let me just put up a seat. It's a, <laughs> um, it's, it's a pleasure for, <laughs> to finally be inside the mouse office. And uh, I guess, yeah, I should say it to your faces. Congratulations, guys. You topped your group. Woo! Off goods. Amazing rock star. stuff. What are your initial reactions? Alan, you're sipping on your rock star. I was very happy. Yeah? Chris? I was a little sloppy on Nuke, but it's okay. Okay. Chris, what about you? Yeah, it's a good feeling, for sure. Yeah. IGL, Carrigan, I think that was a good two maps. Are you happy with the performance from the guys? No, I should have won bigger, but in the end, it's fine. Okay. I, love I mean, 6-9 six, six right. was, was pretty damn good. 11-4 <laughs> starting on train. You, I think you, you guys did a fantastic job against G2, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Over to Robin. Yeah, over to Robin in the studio. That was a good game. GG. Yeah. You. And of course, Turkish superstar, Uzga. Cheers, brother. Cheers, bro. Would uh, you like to address your Turkish fans in the chat right now? I want to just say hello to everyone. Okay. And I can say on Turkish also, bro. If of you bro, of course, man. Okay. Hoş geldiniz. Uh, Güzel bir galibiyet oldu. Giraf, giraf, Şerefe giraf. bro, şerefe. It's not giraf. Şerefe, şerefe, şerefe. Şerefe, yeah. Giraf. Şerefe falan. Yeah, and also I'm uh, happy about that, about winning, because the last time we lost against them. So we got the revenge, and uh, we are top one. I'm sad, because uh, my brother Kenny is out now, but this is how is it. Better team won today. Yeah, Oscar. when we spoke in the last episode, you said you were extra motivated by the chance to play against Kenny. Did it play out like that in the server? Was it as fun as you'd hoped? Yeah, it was It was nice uh, to play against him. Always, like, I'm enjoying. When is there, there's top-level uppers, always en enjoying, you know? Good stuff. Guys, let's talk about the lead-up to this game. So after your last match, we were in an interesting position with regards to how you were set up in the group. It was like yourselves, OG and G2 that were on nine points, FaZe were on six, and a few different scenarios. But basically, if you'd won this best of three, you would guarantee yourself the top spot. And you managed to do that. But before the match, were you thinking about your place in the group, Carrigan? I mean, we were not safe to be first place. Only if we oh, won. Oh, really? Yeah, only if we won and OG uh, would lose to FaZe. Uh, but basically, okay, yeah. Basically, by winning the match against D2, we could secure us uh, a spot to to play off, right? So those are the main focus. We didn't really care about the other match. Um, in case we would have lost, obviously we need to had to look at the the result of OG and Face. Uh, so it, it was in our own hands, and obviously I'm happy that Face uh, beat OG and, and we beat uh, D2, so we move on to to first place. Just to correct yeah, so, you a little bit there, because we could actually just win one map and we're guaranteed to go through. Not guaranteed. I can only tell yeah. that now. 2-1, two, one, <laughs> two, one phase OG. Okay, and we not fight, 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 fight. No, no, if it was 2-0, then we will qualify. If, if um, Anyway, if OG win, we that will qualify. But, okay. yeah. but if it was 2-1 yeah, yeah. and, we, and, we, two, one, and we lost 2-1, uh, it would have been down to round difference between the teams. Yeah. That's all the maps were even. Yeah, so it, it, it was a situation where if you won the match, you would at least you would have guaranteed getting through to the next part of the competition, but yeah. you wouldn't have guaranteed topping the group at least, is what I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. and, and 
And did any of you guys think about that beforehand, or did you just go in thinking, look, we have to, we we want to get this win regardless. We want to topple G two, Chris. I mean, uh, I was not trying to think too much about the other game, but I felt like it added some nice kind of pressure to know that if you win now, uh, you could still get first place, or you could go yeah. out, right? Yeah, that was like kind of an all or nothing position, and I feel like we thrive in those scenarios as a team. Mm. Alan, what do you think about FaZe beating um, OG in the other match that was going on? I, I mean, I, I also thought that FaZe would win that match. Uh, and of course, I'm happy about it now because then we are first in uh, first in group. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like also OG win against us was a little... It was deserved, but it's not what would happen the other nine times we play them. Okay. Guys, let's talk a, a bit about the maps. I would say they were strong performances in both. Nuke, however, you know, your your CT side, I think it could have gone a bit better. You, you got nine rounds. Carrigan, what do you think about the CT side and Nuke? I mean, I think we started really good. We had good body control as well, but I felt like we, we misread sometimes the situation maybe, and also we had some aim fails. Um, but in the end, I'm really happy with the CT side on Nuke because we have really struggled lately on, on that side, I feel like. So knowing that we won uh, six rounds, actually uh, nine rounds this time, I kind of have that good feeling going to T side, which has been a really good side for us on Nuke. So so I'm really happy with the improvement we did uh, and the preparation that uh, our coach Andy did. So uh, all in all, uh, a good performance on CT side. I love that guy. Are we going to get Andy on the show today? Uh, he's Maybe. I'll, I'll ask him. Okay, Be thanks, back. Alan. Be back. All right, cool. Catch you. <laughs> Catch you a bit, Alan. Um, talking about the CT side, it looked like there were some really interesting battles going on outside, but not with your weapons, with smokes and mollies, trying to control um, angles and um, parts of the map which you could see and could not, depending on which smokes were thrown and using mollies to pop smokes before they landed in their optimal positions. It's something that the cast has picked up on as well. Karagun, can you talk a bit about that? Was that going on? Uh, I think it's better that Voxic and, uh, and Coach Andy is talking about it because they were in the position. Uh, they had a good okay. game plan towards that. So over yeah, to Voxic. Voxic, uh, over to you in the studio. Yeah. Okay. Can you say it one more time? I, I do yeah, exactly so for Finn, like, you know? Yeah. It, it, it looked <laughs> like outside there were battles yeah. not only going on with your weaponry, but also with smokes and mollies, trying to control yeah. when yeah. the smokes were popping with mollies and That's timing, etc. Yeah. Can you talk talk a bit about that? And great, Andy, great to have you back, by the way. Is Alan okay? He doesn't mind something out? Yeah, I think he's okay. So um, I can just say um, we always like uh, have some setups. Uh, if we know they're throwing like a, a double smoke or they're throwing one molo and uh, smoking on that and stuff, like we know this. And, uh, and also Alan notifies them, like what kind of nays are they throwing? So we just create our game plan like this. And if they throw, like we know they're going to molo first. So that's why we're just putting a smoke there. So their molo is getting fucked and we're creating a gap. So they cannot go down. They have to use one more nade for it. So when they're using one more nade, we know they will not going to have enough nades to uh, plant a C4 or something. Like, you know, they're wasting extra smokes there. So, and after that, we are, when we have a, like just aim duels, like it's about like winning or losing. But anyway, you are just taking out the smokes from them basically. So two times or three times we did it, and uh, sometimes we mull it, sometimes we smoke, and it's worked pretty well. And we just made it also through the smoke because we know, if I, we realize uh, after we uh, destroying their nades, they are smoking with right click one more time, and after that they are just walking. So we realized that, and we start to nade with David, and uh, actually we just got assists a couple of times. So basically we read their game, and also Alan helped about it, uh, us, me and David basically because of. Uh, what he saw from them. So we just uh, uh, basically showed respect to their moves, but uh, punished basically at the same time. Okay. Raging, do you have any other thoughts to add? I mean, Oscar explained it pretty well there. I mean, it's, um, it, it's, it's a learning curve, I think, because when you deny something of the opponent, the opponent has to adapt instantly. And often that's not part of the game plan, meaning it will change up. So I think like a guy like David uh, Frozen, he's uh, still learning a lot. He's still young. Uh, he made some few rookie mistakes when they actually had a good gaps. It's too warm sitting like this. Sorry, I'm bringing Alan back. All right, Alan, come back in. Alan's oh, back. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, yeah, so I, I think it's just about to about learning how to 
abuse the punish that you're doing to the opponent, you know? Uh, because we had some really, really good situations where we actually kind of threw it away. Uh, there was like two rounds, I remember, in Nuke City. It, yeah, it we got really... to like the late round, right? And then they were like playing it really slow, I felt like. And I don't know. Yeah. We made some positional I mean, we, mistakes we, we, there, I guess. Yeah, and yeah that's not like, sure exactly what. Yeah. Like we did some overpeak two times that cost us two <coughs> rounds, which basically cost us four because we had two e crafters. So, I mean, yeah. if we didn't make these mistakes, and we, we're going to talk about them, of course, next time we're going to practice, uh, then we end the half like 11 4 or 12 3. Yeah. Thank you, Rajan, for your thoughts. Chris, if you could not interrupt when your teammates are speaking, that'd be really appreciated, man. We know you want camera time, but this is a show about the team. Uh, we're it's already quite show, disappointed Chris. in you, considering that you've let us down the previous podcast. Today, we've got our fingers crossed that we're going to see that freestyle. 2,000 viewers. We're going to tweet that out shortly. Uh, Robin, how was it holding ramp on the CT side for uh, on you? You're a fantastic ramp player. Today, how was the, the, the positional play for you? Uh, they didn't hit ramp so much. Um, I think we were pretty on point with rotations. Um, they came ramp a couple times, and that was kind of it. There wasn't much action on ramp. Yeah. I think most of the most of the rounds were decided either on uh, outside how they played out, or then just inside. Okay. All right. Well, Nuke ended up sixteen to nine. Um, anything to add with regards to the T side, Carrigan? I think we we could have closed it out earlier. I felt like we had was it two or three rounds in a row where it really came down to the one on one or the two and twos, where I felt like uh, we maybe reacted too fast. Um, but today I feel like uh, us as a team reacted really good on the calls uh, initiative and and really moving the CTs around. Um, so all in all, I think it was a good T side. You, it's really hard always to win these. A uh, very clutch situation on the T side nuke, but you have to win them uh, in order to, to close out the map. And that's what we did in the end. All right. All right. Moving on from nuke, we got to see your map pick, Train. Of course, it is a mouse sports special. And it certainly started off that way 11 to 4 on the T side. Carrigan, would you like to continue having a chat with me about the T side, but this time on Train? Yeah, I mean, our teaser train is really strong. Um, like we, we have a few different things we can work with. If, if uh, Oscar is having a really, really good game, he creates so much space for us. And let's say he has maybe a game where he doesn't really get the impact because the teasers are playing good and trying to deny him. Uh, then me and Chris is coming really fast out mid to, to create space for, for Voxic and Robin and David to, to kind of clutch up the rounds. And then obviously we also have Robin in, in brown rounds and coming down pop and getting for free. He's like the pop guard. Um, so all in all, yeah. we have really many weapons on that map, and I think today we we kind of used them all to to have so good side. Oscar's getting entries, uh, me and Chris coming out, getting a lot of a map um, control, and then obviously uh, Robs and, and Frozen Boxy to to clutch up the round. So I think all in all, really really good T side, and and I'm happy my teammates really just reacted really fast uh, as a team. Yeah, Chris, an interesting stat I heard on a stream was that you guys on. Uh, at least in the first half of that match, you'd been losing most of the, not you personally, but your, the team had been losing most opening duels, but nonetheless had still been converting rounds. Do you find that interesting as well? What was happening after maybe you lost the first player in, in, in specific rounds? I mean, I think that ties a bit into what Finn is saying about uh, creating space in middle. Um, sometimes when you die there, you actually force a rotation or you create the opportunity for your teammate to get a, maybe easier refrag. Um, and this creates a, in the end, better situation for the T's, even though the CTs might have gotten the end refrag, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I think that explains something else. Mm. Uh, Coach Andy, you uh, Alan, sorry, are you okay? You're fiddling with the, the dog behind you. I was just looking at their eyes. Okay. <laughs> well, the, 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 the nice eyes. Moving on to the CT side, I, I thought in that pistol round, that initial pistol round, that you guys were going to win. Firstly, Carrigan, it looked like you had a good read that they were going to hit the inside bomb site. You had nades ready. They, they flooded in and you got the first kills, but then it flipped around. So, guys, what happened? Uh, first okay. of all, I, I really did a mistake. <laughs> I think, first of all, uh, Alan had a good read on the pistol round and did exactly what we expected. Um, we got three entries and I kind of over, overpeaked in that sense that I thought my teammates was fighting. I should just hide higher because in that scenario, it's impossible to lose the round unless they're doing good shots. So it came down to instant at two and two, I think, right? It was a I mean, five can really fast. Yeah. Shot. 
I mean, yeah, okay, he, it was five, they, five and two, and then suddenly I see it's two and two and a half. Who, after who that. died? Yeah. Who died in Molly in Z? Robin. I think Robin or David, no? No. Uh, Robin, he Robin. was two, he took a duel and just kept fighting, but Kenny hit a good shot. I mean, like Kenny. No, 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 not, ground, that guy, like... not that guy. It's like last two v two. I was like kind of two v two, and one guy rotated from A to B, and he just in the Molo in Z. And he just Robin. The Molo. That's me. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it ah, was okay. But I mean, yeah, like, balls it was on the so table. Bad, it, it was balls just like, on the table. Good job, bro. Like if Finn survived, there's a completely different round. But I mean, like exactly. of course yeah. Robin could have saved, but yeah, yeah. I, I mean Robin like could kill should... also. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, like in that situation where people are dying, Robin had to commit. So I mean, it was also some good shot by Kenny. So yeah, and it came down to a one-on-one. -on -one, so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But not enough to qualify. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay. You okay. flip things back in your favor when we got to round 18. You had a half by of Deagles, Woxic, you were on a scout. Pretty much everybody chipped in and you turned that round um, in your favor. Woxic, how was it playing the scout in that round? You had quite an impact. Uh, I think I always doing that in also practices and stuff. So I was not feeling like uh, uncomfortable basically i just said okay i'm gonna pick uh, uh, everywhere one by one and i picked directly from city quad and i just tagged one guy and everything started like this basically after that uh, we did a like, like right rotation i i guess uh, alan also said in team speak just stack b guys uh, in the end of the round like before last 30 40 seconds and uh, i was on on point like i was on a position ready you know in b and i just, i tagged also lower guy and i killed the one more lower so basically, I did everything right uh, about the rotation and uh, shooting with scout, basically. I mean, I saw that round and it was actually 100% Kerrigan's uh, fault that we won that round because he did a molo toward the uh, Tiquan. Yeah, I don't know that That stopped part. Amanik yeah. completely and they got scared to go out and they used so much utility like to get that area and they never got it. So they were like like trying to go out mid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to go out mid. You know but which then, well, I put, the new one. <laughs> yeah. And, and then he ran to the Molo and then they stopped and went back and they were like only have one set of nades left. So they were kind yeah. of forced to go inside. That was really maybe maybe I tagged maybe I tagged this guy because no, you did, you tagged uh, him. Yeah, I know. I tagged him because maybe Finn's Molo, because he stopped him, you know, there because he was not close next to me, because he, he had a time to come close City Quad. But yeah, he could he could not go City Quad with that Molo. So he was yeah, fucked. that's that's why that's why uh, he couldn't come. And I saw him in the middle of everything, and I tagged him. He jumped back and stuff, but he was already lost all the all, all like HP, for me then. Yeah. Finn, have you ever played Mortal Kombat before? That's random. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was random. Actually. Have you ever? You've never played Mortal Kombat. I uh, I've been seven years old when I did it. Ha has anyone so. here played Mortal Kombat? I played. I yes. played. Don't you guys think it would be a good idea? That when Finn does either pre or post match interviews, he says, finish him. You know, like the fatality. Yeah. Thing. Key. Oh. Guys? What? I mean, don't, I'm don't not think that's a great idea. Sold on the idea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <really Well>. <laughs> oh, what to you in the studio, Pala? All right, guys. I'm going I'm to take a, I'm, I'm gonna go quickly. So I'll, I'm going to uh, toilet break. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. All right. It's going to go to the toilet. So Robin is the new host. It's here. Uh, to left, Bala. No, okay. no, left. no, I found it. I'll be back in one second. Okay. Okay. Robin, wash your Robin, hands, you're man. The new host. Okay, who is the new host? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How many does he have ready, man? Like he I don't know, know about the cameras. I just know about the spy camera. I mean, <laughs> as far as I know, you cannot put camera in any toilet. But <laughs> it's okay. mouse toilet. We can't. It's mouse toilet. Right, give me a sec, yeah. <laughs> whip it out, Pala. Whip it out. What the fuck, man. Bro, look, oh, look towards us a bit, bro. It's uh, yeah. nice from there. <laughs> Pala, wash your hands, bro. Uh, we need Why, to tell him to wash his hands. Uh, he didn't flush the toilet, man. It's like boot camp. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys, about that really bad joke, man. I apologize. <laughs> anyway, um, final thing Hello, to you talk about. Wash your hands. That's disgusting, bro. Oh, bro. Shh. Hey, I did. It was, it, 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 I did. It was, it was just, I give you wet wipes, bro. It, it was off camera. It was off camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Woxic, I'll fetch those from you uh, in a moment. You're in the room next to mine, right, <laughs> Oscar? 
All right, one more time. Yeah, you're you're in the room next to me. I'll get the the wet wipes after. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Um, guys, final things to talk about with regards to the match. Frozen redeemed himself. He played the same ninja play, but he made it successful. He didn't even have a kit. It was crazy. Who was reacting to that the most uh, excited at the time? Chris, what was it like for you? I mean, I think we need to give Voxic a lot of credit there because he basically set up this whole play. I mean, obviously, David got into a good position, but Voxic realized how to capitalize on it, and he explained perfectly like what to do. Yeah, Voxic, so you were in Connector, right? And you were looking yeah. at the guy on Upper, and yeah. you were putting his attention. I think then there was Amanik on the bomb train, and then another player, I think, closer to CT. Close to, I, close to CT oil, like around. But yeah. We didn't know about that guy, but obviously, obviously, one guy had to be there. So when uh, David spotted one guy is upper, and I have a timing, he said like he said first lower train, and he just went upper. So when he had the, he had the timing, so we know one guy uh, on upper, one guy close can be like ninety percentage going to be close. And when Frozen came down to lower, when he spotted the default, I said okay, one upper, one should be close to me, one default, just kill the default and start defuse. I'm gonna hold upper. And when he killed, he started defuse, and I killed the upper guy, and this other guy didn't have time to come and kill him. Actually, he had, but Frozen had a smoke there. He actually hit him once, even. He hit Almost him once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you think at the time G2 thought that you were trying to trap them on the bomb site so you guys could save guns? Do you think that they just weren't aware that Frozen was anywhere near them? Uh, no, I think they, they will wait for it, no? Like they I think just, they, 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 from, they, from, they they expected us to save at that moment, yeah, but yeah. maybe David. Also, I wanted us to. Save I love it. I love it when the IGL but, agrees with me, guys. I'm yeah, just going to put it that way. But, <laughs> but I told the guys to save, and they said they in the mindset there's still a chance to win a round. Uh, obviously, yeah. I would have been mad if they lost it, but they won it, and everything is Gucci, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything was Gucci until the next round. That's yeah. when uh, Mr. Kovacs Hunter got got the old. Ace, um, that, that yeah. was really such a fantastic round to watch. Of course, if you're not playing as a mouse sport player on the server, what was it like to actually be on the receiving end of that? I guess, uh, Robin, maybe you can you can tell us. Uh, I don't know, I was out of the picture pretty early, I think, since the round ended on B, so it's hard to say. I died in the early execute, okay. And uh, I was the I was the last person I guess died, but last I don't know. I, okay. I, I don't know how people died. No, before. Finn was last, no, from lower. I I received one of the ugly one taps of my life. Yeah. Instant tap. Same. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the problem got... the the problem for me was that I could keep my MP9, or I could pick up the orb, and like it was sad to decide. I knew he's gonna come there, so I wanted to go fast down hold it up, but he I saw him a monitor and I instant died. So as yeah. it was a really good shot on me because he doesn't hit that instant headshot. I think I have a chance to kill him. Yeah, you, were, you would that pick up the bump. You were just coming out of the lower ramp, and at the time on the stream, we were observing it, of course, from Hunter's perspective, and he just swung out. And as soon as you were you were on his crosshair bomb, it was just a headshot. Yeah. It's, 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 there's nothing really you can do to to anti-strat that sort of behavior, right? I mean, in the in the hindsight, you can always play better, right? But you also have to agree that he did a really good one tap, and yeah. if he doesn't even even if I pick it up, he might not even instant kill me. I still have a chance to win the one-on-one. So, like, obviously, it was a good shot on me. And I think he sneaked on until, like, he sneaked under you or something like this. Right, Oscar? Yeah, yeah I, I yeah. remember. I remember. Yeah, we, we had yeah. an info on his backside, like, summit position. And uh, I was at the top of the train. But uh, I didn't see him when I just picked left and right. Three or four times I did it. And I thought, like, he's hiding either side, either summit still. But he was under me. Like, he just hit the timing, basically. So, like, I, I also could play maybe better there. Instead of staying up up on the train, yeah, I remember. But I he mean, just he also played. Hit the timing on you about six yeah, weeks. he hit the timing. I, sh I should. For me, that. I I saw him on your perspective, but he was like like a shoulder, you know. Yeah, I didn't see him. So. Blind. Also, well, yeah, I there aren't any really other details that I thought were worth picking up from that best of three. It was, it was a very strong performance. And overall, guys, I think you should be very proud of yourselves. You topped the group. If you could go back in time, yeah, round of applause, of course. Robin, can we see you do some sort of physical m movement? Can we get a round of applause from Ro Robin? Uh, Robin. Yeah. I yes, heard a clap, I think. No, I heard him. He smiled. Robin? Okay. Robin is low-key today. I've got some bad news, everybody, actually. Robin is... Currently in mental hibernation off that match, so we're not going to be able to see a Robin's Rubik's today. 
He has requested. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if it's to do with the fact that he, in the, from the last stream, he kept that bag on his head for the next 48 hours, right up until the last game. And so I think he might be having some adverse health effects. And that's why he can't perform Robin's rubric today. So let's get a, a, an F in the chat for Robin. Um, yeah, overall, guys, then tell me about what this the, these first set of matches in Pro League has been like. Uh, like I said, from my opinion, I think you guys have done very well. If you could go back in time, if you play more optim optimally, you could probably crack OG. But other than that, overall, great performance. Carrigan, let's start with you. Overall thoughts. Yeah, I mean, when when you think about the group states and take consideration that's online and you look at the teams, going 4-1 is, I think, a good result. Um, obviously, the OG was a really tough one on the team, and but I also think it put a spark in us and as a team. We know we have to perform all the matches, play online. You can't just chill because then everybody's going to beat you all the time, right? So I, I think with, with that loss against OG, I think it just put some extra motivation for us to to come back and, and go through to the next stage. Um, so I'm happy we're losing a match like this uh, and not maybe losing that in the, the next stage of the groups, right? So we know going into the next stage that we, we have to be 100% every game each day when we play um, to be able to to win the whole tournament, right? And, and I think that can be good to, to do a good comeback, even though it's online. Yeah. Oscar, what about you? You happy with how the five matches from this first stage have gone? Like, uh, as a team, I can say, like, um, we step it up in the end of it. But uh, for me, like, personal, I couldn't play uh, well at the beginning, even if we win against FaZe. Uh, so I'm happy I just uh, step it up in online games. Uh, whatever the reason is, uh, I just stayed focused and played. Like, I tried to do my best about my for my team, basically. But I'm, I'm happy about our performance because we just keep... Uh, playing hard, like uh, playing practices a lot and stuff. And we're just trying to improve every day still. So basically, I'm happy what we did today, what we achieved, basically. Good stuff. Chris? Yeah, I think it's uh, good how our mentality changed over the matches in the group stage here. I uh, felt we were maybe a bit not taking it that serious because it's online the first uh, games. And obviously against OG, we got punished for that. So. Uh, I think uh, kind of like what Finn said, that that was a good wake-up call that match to realize that we actually need to fight for every game uh, to to show a good performance here, to go to the final, to win the tournament. And Alan, what about you? I mean, it's when you lose, you learn, no? Uh, that's how you should look at it. You shouldn't take it as... Uh, of course, it sucks to lose, but sometimes you have to lose to, to get better. Um, exactly. And I feel... Uh, the loss from OG is is more like a mental. Uh, how do you say that? Like a mental, mental kick. Game? Like yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like you have to have, just to wake up and take everything seriously all the time. Like we have been struggling a lot by when we win first match, uh, first map, then not being able to close it out. Maybe because we're slagging a little bit or thinking this is gonna be easy or I don't know what's because we tend to win the opponent's map pick. And then we we don't win our own, which is very bad. So, yeah, I think like it's uh, now we, we we hopefully learn from this. I agree, man. When you, when you lose, there's always a chance to learn from it, uh, Alan. Right? Of course. Like you should should yeah. uh, you shouldn't be. Too, of course, you can be sad when you lose, but you have to look on the other side. Like why did we lose? And and then take away take take something away from it so it doesn't happen again. You know. Yeah, I feel like that's why Chris at this point in his life is such a wisdom filled and intelligent persons because he's taken so many l's throughout his entire life i've not seen someone take more l's than the guy below me um, you gotta keep final... fighting fella <laughs> <laughs> final words with rocks then uh, with regards to the five matches played over the last week i think the general quality of cs is is pretty bad online I've, from the matches i've seen and from the matches we've played so far I think uh, online people play much way better and way more clean CS. Um, personally, I would say something just feels off playing at home. I don't feel like I'm in, I'm in the zone when I when I go into a match or uh, when I play rounds. And I don't know. I, this feels pretty weird to play online again after uh, a year or so of not doing it. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, guys, congratulations once again. You're through to the next stage, topping your groups, which is awesome 
see. All right, everybody, we're currently at like 1.2, 1.3K viewers. We're hovering about 1.5 um, and between that before. What we should do right now is get on our social media, put some tweets out, or if Mouse Sports tweets and we retweet it, and remind everybody that if we hit 2K, the magic number of 2K, Chris J will be dropping his freestyle, all right? We've already. I, given are you one. doing it or are you not doing it, Chris? Because I'm not tweeting. Of course I'm not doing it then. Chris, right. you said, <laughs> man. <laughs> producer <laughs> Rene said that he's doing it. <laughs> producer Rene. Is the producer going to do it? Producer Rene. Is Rene going to do it? <laughs> producer Rene? No, I need to speak to our producer right now because this isn't cool, Chris. He told me that you're doing it. He's this. in the other room. Maybe he's going speak with him then. Okay, well... No, hello, produce. Yeah, see, Chris, that is officially right. Mouse Sports business, mate. That's just fines, right? <laughs> yeah, I saw the clip, okay. Chris. Okay. Yeah, but we didn't hit uh, 2K yet, Chris. So no, that's right. Yeah. It's all, all good, bro, now. All right, so. This is if... fake info, guys. I repeat. Let's get those tweets out, guys. We need, we need that clip out so we can uh, put it in his face, Chris. Why are you being such a. Yeah. Go on, say it. What, what did you want to say? Him. What did you want call to say? Him, huh? Call him a oh, nasty what name. What do you want to say? What the fuck do you want to say? You, you guys argue. I'm just going to go and get it. You guys argue. I'm just going to go just and lay down um, the law. Drink, drink Alan, you realize I'm sitting right next to you, yeah? I yeah, can I just can walk there and fuck you up. Try and punch me. I'm just going to go and get a drink quickly, guys, from the Mouse Sports Bar. Right, be right back. Don't take it all. You need to pay for them yourself, Pala. So, uh. What's Guys, up, brother? So, Ellen, what's up? <laughs> I mean, we've been talking about making this. Oh, system. we all went to the bar or what? Oh, we went to the bar. Oh, now, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's now he's talking. Why did I not see this at Bootcamp? It's behind it's you. It's new. Next ah, this new. This new office. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. So, Chris, uh, now we have our own talk show. What do you want to talk about? Uh, <laughs> Ellen, I'm. Really wondering how I'm gonna fix my hair in the next couple of hey, weeks. Can I get one beer, please, mate? <laughs> oh, thank you very much, man. Appreciate this. <laughs> uh, Alan, serious question. Uh, yeah, what, bro? Just a... shave it, bro. Just shave it, bro. No, bro. I've been there. I've done that. Me too. Yeah. Okay, so chat. Let's put it in chat. How should Chris fix his hair? Yeah, exactly. Give me some fucking ideas. Like, we need some advice here. Two K people on a shirt. <laughs> Oh, Bolt. Uh, there's if a lot of gives a good say, idea, oh. then I, I, I mean, there's, there's a lot of people that, that I will do. Also, I have seen, I've seen. Do... Oh, I've guys, seen. Jesus, I've seen. I go to the bar for one second and now you're biting each other's heads off. Yeah. Now we're just discussing whether Chris should be bald or not. Yeah, I need to get a haircut. Like, I mean, like, there is there's a no barbers open. I mean, there is a lot of in the chat saying you should go bald and I reverse mohawk and bald. I've already done that. Like, that's boring now to do it again. It's gonna be easy to maintain though. Yeah, that's why I had it before, but I'm, you know, I like things difficult these days. I'm going to be honest, Chris, when I first saw your Twitter profile picture, I yeah. thought you were bald, for real. <laughs> yeah, I used to be. No, you, yeah, but but your you, your hair is nice, man. What's the problem? It gets, yeah, but it's going to grow and there's no farmers. Oh, 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 Robin talking. Yeah, Robin's it's talking. Robin's Robin's talking. Robin's shut talking. up, for people. Chris, shut up. No, no, never Chris, mind, shut never up. mind. Shut no, up, no, Pala, no, you fucking fuck it, Chris. I'm Chris, fucking Chris, now. man. Why are you no, wait, ev to everyone, us? five, four, oh, three, two, one. Robin, over to you in the studio. Oh, it's too late already. Like, the topic is over. <laughs> you fucked Oh, it my up, God. We Pala. lost our chance, guys. Oh, my God. Fuck. There'll be 1.5 minutes. Robin, first. please. What, what, do, what do we have to do um, to get you to speak? Say Chris Joe for yourself. Oh. What do we have to do, Robin? Speak about what? To speak in general about my haircut, brother. Like, no haircut. cap, no, no cap. It's, it's on CJ guard, engraved. CJ like... engraved. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. But the problem top. is, how am I gonna do that? Like, you there's have some no barber. family around, you know. Yeah, and they know how to do that. Yeah, how to uh, they can, they can draw a C, you know. Yeah, bro, just there's, come to my house and no, you fix listen, it, please. Listen, Chris, there's only can't excuses travel. and what problems goes. with you. You don't want to freestyle, <laughs> even though you promise it. Uh, you don't want to cut your hair. It's impossible to do that. I want to cut my hair. That's the whole point. That's what I'm asking. I don't know. I'm so. It's you not knowing. I'm so. Maybe start describing. I'm gonna look at you now. What are you doing? Fucking retard. 
And my other side pro, that's Robin. You give. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ragin did a tweet. All right. Let's quote tweet that and make sure people know that when we hit 2K, if we hit it, Chris J will freestyle. All right. Thank you, everybody, for sticking with us during that commercial break. We're now back to talk about things more generally the mouse sports lifestyle. Like we already touched upon earlier in the day, Robin unfortunately will not be performing. For us, yes, I know it's one of the most sought after parts of this podcast, Robin's Rubik's. Yes, and we have started booking him in venues across the world, such as the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Robin, are you looking forward to that, by the way, doing your performance live on stage? I'm not sure yet. I might cancel. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But, Robin, other, other than doing it live and performing Robin's Rubik's. Can you tell us a bit about the impact that the Rubik's Cube has had in your life? Because I know me and you, we've spoken about this before at events and you've told me just how passionate you are for that 3D cube that has multi, multi colors on it. It's multicolored cube. Yeah. Tell us about. Just a fucking cube, bro. (laughs) All right. (laughs) (laughs) Um... I just need to get my camera to focus again quickly. Uh, give me nice try, bro. Can you come it's back the... in the office, maybe? And don't nice sit in the yeah, let, let me come back. Stop sitting in the bar. The structure is getting out of hand. I honestly <laughs> have a pretty important question as well, All because right. I'm getting worried. Oh, Jesus, this is the wrong office room, guys. My oh, bad. Oh, um, that's, that's my favorite part. Let's go. Okay, there uh, we go. Let's fuck. try that now. I mean, honestly, uh, Voxic, is your stepsister there okay? Or... <laughs> yeah, she's actually fine, bro. Um... Why did um, Pala move on stuck, the stream right? Yeah, huh? why did Pala move suddenly? <laughs> yeah, I, just, I'm looking at, I want to look at Pala and I see uh, Rattin. <laughs> well, well, I see no, I, I stopped my camera and started it again. Sorry, guys. But guys, uh, let Voxic explain. Like, this is family we're talking about here. Yeah, yeah. so Voxic, what happened with your sister on stream the other day? You said you caught yeah. her in the washing machine? Yeah, she stuck in the washing machine and she just was yelling, you know, and come and help me. So I had to go and help to her. It's like, you know. So yeah, and, and, and when you came back, you were like sort of like fiddling with your trousers. So did you put on like a new pair of trousers afterwards it's from the like, washing machine? Like, no, it's like uh, you were kind of, you know, um, <laughs> he was talking, working, you know? you know, we were talking, working, and I was trying to put back to her, you know, like this. So, so but why did you need to adjust your trousers afterwards? Ah, I just went to the toilet after. Yeah, okay. Cool, yeah, I just think, Pala, like, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Um, I, I would have asked this to David himself since he was, if he was here, but he's not, unfortunately. And I, I was going to, of course, check with him if his mum was proud of his performance during Pro League. And <laughs> I mean, like, we can kind of debate this, no? Like, we know... Yeah, David's let's debate this, of... Alan, debate this. Do you guys think that David's mum is happy with David's performance today? No, proud, proud. 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 And also at the fact that he travels the world world I mean, making I'm, big money i'm not sure how money. she feels but she definitely should be proud like he played amazing today like not gonna lie he did yeah and if his mom was watching kind of emotional there if his mom was watching like honestly she would feel some type of way feel <laughs> some type of way okay rich homie chris <laughs> <laughs> um moving on uh i was hoping that today woxic over the course of the last few episodes you've always given a very deep an emotional, um, spiritual speech. I was hoping today, Woxic, you could give us a speech about what's transpired today and over the last week. So, Woxic, are you prepared to do that? No. No, but please, Woxic, you know, a speech for your Turkish fans and everyone else at Mouse Sports about the good stuff, man. You've done it each episode. Can you... Uh, Okay. You know, before when you were talking about coronavirus, when you were talking about... Following in Cristiano Ronaldo's footsteps, etc. Chris, why yeah, are you laughing at that? Today, today, um, I don't have anything like I'm out of my stock. You know, I can, <laughs> I can stock. talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Woxic, you're really bleeding us dry here, man. Can you please give us a speech? Give us a speech about how you, how happy you are, man. Because I know you're absolutely, ex- you're ecstatic right now. Uh, okay okay uh, i can tell like something that the people will feel and that they will go on to do better tomorrow uh okay i mean Voxic, honestly i'm wondering what turkish media are like reporting lately 
lately? About what? About yeah, uh, about like, virus? we could do a Turkish news face segment, mask. You know? Okay, uh, today... I mean, I don't know what Erdogan said, like, for example. Okay. Like I actually yeah, just want right Oscar to do yeah. an emotional speech to inspire his fans. Oscar, over to you in the studio. I have nothing, man. <laughs> I have nothing. A new chair. Yeah, I have All nothing. Right. Well, Woxic, I'd like to say thank you for your emotional speeches over the last... Yeah, yeah, just, just I really think, felt that. No, no cap. Yeah, just think like uh, I did the talk, okay, guys. Good talk. Be emotional now in chat. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone, be emotional in chat. <laughs> be emotional. And of course, we will be coming to chat very shortly for everyone's favorite part of of the episodes, other than Robin's Rubik's R.I.P. Um, where chat ask us questions. Kerrigan, a note that I put aside for you was my hope that you during this final episode would speak to each of the players here and, and, your, and, and your coach and give them some criticism because you are the strong in-game leader for Mouse Sports. And I know sometimes you like to be vocal about how you want things done. And I want you to be completely honest right now. So if you don't like Chris's stupid hair, if you don't like the fact that Rox is always quiet and Osger is not up to any challenge, now's the time to say it. So one by one, starting with Alan. Finn. I'll call. I'll call him tomorrow. I'm not doing something like this publicly. You know, <laughs> I can't do it publicly, bro. Okay. If well, I say I that think... to improve on something, everybody knows the uh, mistakes, and they're gonna abuse it the next game. You have to think. I just not like personality. Not like, like, IQ. Just, You're no, like no, five, not... five IQ player. Not like serious. <laughs> exactly. Not like serious in-game stuff that your enemies can pick up on. I mean, like random things that you'd like to tell them. Like, oh, they Oscar. can get personal as well. That's the problem, yeah. right? They write in chat. Oh, Oscar got really mad. I said something to him, and then they write it to him in chat, <laughs> and he's full tilt. You know, can't do that. Okay, so <laughs> for for our checklist today, then uh, that means no Robin's Rubik's, no inspiring Woxic <laughs> speech, no. No. zero public criticism from Finn, and we're on the fence about Chris J's freestyle. So, uh, guys, kind of like things are looking out. grim here. Uh, uh, Pala, you are of stuck. <laughs> Yeah, all right, guys. <laughs> all right, everybody, everybody in chat, now's your time to chip in. Questions, fire them away. They can be to yeah. anyone, um, and we will make sure they are answered thoroughly. Chris J won't run away from them like he did the freestyle or his first. Who is the worst roommate? The, <laughs> it's hard to decide, right? Chris, we've we've I answered that question. Uh, no, not the worst one. The worst roommate. I think it depends, no? Because if I was living with Woxic, I would go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like his his sleep schedule is so messed. You're up. getting the criticism here, Pala. Listen, yeah, that yeah. Was cool. I was about to say, Finn, this is what I expected of you. Instead, it's Coach Andy Allen that's doing it. You know, <laughs> Coach Andy Allen. <laughs> and I mean, that's actually, Finn job, no? is not giving that much criticism. He's always a very nice guy and a little too nice guy sometimes. Sometimes I get mad though, no? Uh, very rare. No. Finn is very a massive rare. troll. Who's the biggest troll on the team, guys? We talked about that. That's Robert, no? Yeah. Did we? I mean, yeah, we I think had the funniest. We talked about funny guy, not troll guy. I mean, no. oh, guys, I've got a good question from chat. From uh, um, it's. Are uh, we gonna do this again, Pala, where we just cut off questions and don't answer them? <laughs> no, but you, you weren't answering it, so I was just moving <laughs> on. About... Yes, Pala, do you have a good question? I want to hear you it. Bro, I ask you guys a question, you sit there like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone will be like, mm, yeah. And it's like, well, I should just move on the question. So were you answering that question? I mean, it's Robin. No, for sure. Okay. Everyone agree it's Robin? Yeah, yeah I guess Alan wasn't there. Next question. Yeah, it's Robin. Next question. Pala, good question. Next one. Vamos on team main. Next question from R54 for the win. Who is going to get a girlfriend next? Carrigan, you can answer that because you were not the typical nerdy kid at school. Who got a girlfriend first? You got a girlfriend what, first. Who's who next? doesn't have a girlfriend? Yeah, who doesn't have a girlfriend? Is oh, Rox does everyone have a girlfriend? It's only <laughs> yeah, I mean, Robin has one, Chris has one, Oscar has one, Alan has a wife in chat. <laughs> that could be now, me next then, girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, it's girlfriend, next wife, no? I could have a girlfriend, no, next to the wife, no, that's girlfriend me. and a wife. So, uh, Frozen's so the only single, 
Is Frozen the only single member of the group? Or? Yeah, it's girlfriend. Oh, he has girlfriend. He's with his girlfriend right now. <laughs> so Mouse Sports have got to be the only team that, that all have girlfriends, right? I don't have a girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a sad joke. <laughs> this, this is an actual interesting mechanical sort of meta question from Enrico Filippert. Why does it feel so... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why are you laughing at my pronunciation? Who said he left at you? Enrico Filippart says. Enrico Filippart, yes. Yes. Why does, it feel, why does it feel so weird to play official matches online when you practice online? Because you're used Whoa. to the LAN environment. I for, I can explain better for like for me for mental uh, side it's like when I go to a tournament I sit down I play it's different I'm used to like be zoned in when you're at home there's like it's just like a normal day of life in my opinion so it's like if I sit down on a PC at home for me it's practice it's not like I'm going to play in front of ten thousand people like that's a big difference of going to a tournament you are together with your teammates the only thing you talk about is cs the only thing you do during the day is basically cs you prepare games you talk with teammates about v2 and stuff like that and yeah it's every day is just a tournament day at tournament but at home you're still waking up like you how you want to you have like structs at home um so that's the way different things of sitting down in front of your pc where you used to sit at home so that's, and I that's think a big also like like the players that haven't played that land so often yet are more comfortable at home. So that makes maybe 100%. less experienced uh, teams play better online than they would at a big LAN event. I mean, yeah. the pressure is not the same, right? If you play D2 in this match on LAN and the winner goes to Katowice playoff, I yeah. think that's a different setup than playing here and you go to playoff in Pro League. Like it's 100% different. It's not like the same at all in that in that way but you still play and you still compete on very high level but like robin said the games online is a little different than on land because people tend to do less mistakes because they're more comfortable at home okay so dick asks can they become like astralis without the same level of one language communication so i guess he's asking do you think you could have the same success as a team like astralis Considering the fact that you speak English as your shared language and it's not everybody's first language. I think it's hard to achieve what Australia have achieved, right? Like three majors in a row, been probably the best team in the world for like over two years. Uh, probably a few months been off. But um, if you want to be the same team as Australis, we have to be on point individually a lot. Because the communication is really never going to be the same as Australis. So in that regard, obviously, we can do something different, which... Answers our team never have done being number one for a half or a year. I think that is a big achievement to do because you you have this advances as an internal team. Um, besides, you have a obviously a bigger player pool you can pick from if the team is not the best. And right now we have really really good uh, different players from different regions in their player positions. So in that regard, we're gonna have advances as an internal team uh, long term if 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 something's gonna happen, you know. So. Uh, yeah. I think it's hard to achieve what Australia has done. It's literally probably impossible that someone's going to do it again. Anybody I mean, else want to chip in? I mean, like, I think it, um, what's it called? The, 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 the skill ceiling and everything is just growing higher and higher and higher. So, like, to do what they did is going to be almost near impossible. And uh, I think also the way CS is evolving. It's it's going super fast and yeah, I don't. I see mean, before they did it, people also would probably think it's almost impossible to do what they did. So I think it's possible, but I, obviously, I, really, really yeah, hard. I mean, like, of course, <laughs> it's it's, it's really hard to do. You can see you can see Liquid won the Instagram Slam on seventy days, right? Yeah, they have not been near that form at all. Even though they didn't win the same tournaments as Astralis did, but just Astralis is peaking each major, right? Three majors in a row. I think yeah. there was one team before there was two majors in a row was. Actually, Strahd is also setting that. Or was Fnatic with yeah. two majors? Yeah, Fnatic, I think, no? Yeah, but now they have three majors, and that means over like one and a half year, they've been the best team at the biggest tournament, basically, right? Yeah. So uh, there's something they are doing really good. Um, but obviously, it's you can always do better, right? If you don't have that belief, why do you even play CS? But I think it's going to... I think for every year that CSGO, CSGO grows, I think the competition is getting harder and harder. 
Like you see G2 suddenly coming out of nowhere, being a top five team, which you probably didn't expect for four months ago, right? And the same with us, we came really fast into that like top three, top four level uh, during last of uh, end of last year. So there's always going to be some teams with really high momentum at, and going to maybe beat the best team in the world. And that's why they're not the best team at, at some point. So, yeah. Okay. I'm just copying and pasting some questions to a notepad so I don't miss I them. I don't speak Czech for the last time, guys. <laughs> he speaks no last Czech. fucking time. He speaks I no Czech. I understand a little bit, but I cannot speak it. Yeah. Uh, is- Uzga, you, you really appreciated it when I tried to speak Turkish before, right? Yes. Well, I have another question for you from CG Katiga. CG Katiga asks... Zlatan Ibrahimovic, ne alaka bu programda. Okay, do you know what does what does it mean? Uh, he basically talking about you because you looks like uh, Ibrahimovic, bro, and uh, that's why he's saying what the fuck uh, the fuck Ibrahimovic doing in this program on this like <laughs> talk show. He's just saying on Turkish this. Well, <laughs> um, mouse pays really well. So, but like, actually, reaction. but actually, I understand your Turkish very well, bro. Perfect. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take the Zlatan comment as a yeah as a compliment like, or not, but yeah, really I'm, really I'm not. Like him. Robin, that's the first thing you've said in about 45 minutes. Hello. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Anything else to add, Robin? Or... <laughs> All go. right. Mo- <laughs> moving on. Zerod asks... Can I be the sixth player on Mouth Sports? I am 11 and have 20 hours of CS and I can't play after 9 p.m. Alan, what do you think of a prospect like that? Signed. <laughs> Who's getting kicked, Alan? Uh, Chris, of course. He's benched. Okay. <laughs> He's benched. He's benched. Look, look at this. Well, why do we even ask the question every time? We, we know who is getting benched. Why is it always Chris? Put that finger away, bro. Fuck off. Why is it always Chris that's getting benched? Or? He always really gets really good when he comes back. He also comes back like with more motivation, <laughs> better, you know. So. Um, Only Master has a question for Robin's Only Rubix. Master. And his question is, Rops, can you make your dream Estonian CS team? And you have to be in there as well. So pick other four, four other players that you'd play with from Estonia. I honestly don't have an answer for that because I actually haven't played any Estonian for like two or three years. Robin is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> he is, uh, he's not going to ask for that, only master. Um, maybe if you email him um, at... Rops I said I don't at... have an answer for that. What do you mean? <laughs> but maybe... You play with dots though. Like okay. Rops and dots, that would be sick. Yeah. Huh? Um, question number four. Um, why is Robin so sad? Ask Adrian underscore O W. Um, I think I played pretty bad on train. Um, and I don't feel so good after that. But in general, like I'm always like this kind of. So you played insane on Nuke though. So you can cut yourself. I, some I don't think I. I think I got lucky there. I didn't play really good at all, to be honest. I wish I would get lucky sometimes and get 30 bumps, I guess. Rops, <laughs> how many people do you think from the general CS audience and your fans have an idea of how you actually are in real life? No one, I guess. Like, no one knows me in yeah. real life except my, my team, right? <laughs> yeah, but you're also very good at this whole thing on camera of pretending that you have very little to say and that you're like super reserved, whereas in real life... You're very funny. You're 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 more outwardly trolly, whereas here your persona is more like, okay, I'm gonna sit back and um, pretend my only interest is CS and Rubik's cubes. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you're not you're not definitely too much right on that. I think. I think I'm kind yeah. of same in real life, also, but yeah. Uh, okay, I, I think you're low key like a big troll, you know. Kind of- and. Yeah, I can I can tell that he's my roommate. 
Yeah, Ro what it, can you expand more on like the inner workings of Bro, the, wh of whatever the you see on the screen now, it's same. Basically. But he's more funny, of course, when uh, I'm with him. Uh, when we are like in the room in the midnight, I, I wish I could <laughs> have like some GoPro on my head and I can record them, record that well, moment. Have you guys thought about doing this, doing like Mouse Sports vlogs and stuff after Corona times? Because Mouse Sports, I'm sure they'll send a camera guy with you. You won't have to worry about editing or the process of creating the videos. Have someone follow you around and record you guys real life stuff together. It would be very, very funny. Have, has anybody thought about it? Is he going to stay in a room though in the middle of the night? Like, that's where like the funny stuff happens. That's the problem we have here. Well, if you allow them, if you allow them access, of course. I mean, Ellen. Yeah. Did you hear what we were talking about or were you on your phone? Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, go, go, bro. Is it that? Alan and phone is just like I don't know. Multitasking. No, no, no. Oh my <laughs> god! Man. You can talk with Alan for five minutes and pick up your phone. He forgot everything you said five minutes later. <laughs> Alan, who are you even texting? It's uh, I, it was uh, David, his new girlfriend. His new girlfriend. I, I was on Tinder. I or got a match. Step step sister, no. You don't have some. <laughs> Everybody has no. No. I told I, I everybody has it. What was the question? Okay, again? I'm I'm asking one question now. Question is we if we would allow a camera <coughs> cameraman to film us in the middle of the night in a room. But I mean we would be boring, we were just sleeping, no? We got to bed at eleven or twelve or something like that. Like yeah, literally me still, and Chris is like an like... old couple. Like <laughs> when we're in the room. We've been married for like fifty years. <laughs> Like it's literally like, really boring in our room. Like we go to bed super early. Uh, Chris, go early. to bed. I mean, early. some so, yeah. some things have happened, Adam. But obviously, we cannot go into detail here, because no. But I mean, like if we don't have matches, we're out. Uh, some things happen sometimes. I get texts from Chris at like five a.m. and he'll just be like, ha 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 ha, out of nowhere, and I'm like, Chris, you okay? It's like five a.m. Like what's going on? And then he just doesn't reply to me. So I know Chris has a pretty crazy sleep pattern sometimes as well. Right, Chris? I mean, I haven't seen this during <laughs> tournaments, so... <laughs> I Not during know. tournaments. I mean, I'm talking about Pala, Pala knows me for a bit longer already. Like, uh, Pala, when, when, did we, when did you interview me for the first time? Bro, I don't Was know. Was it London, no? Like Only 2015, fucking, uh, right? Yeah. Okay, back then, things were a bit more uh, reckless. Loosely. <laughs> yeah back then um xsjf1414 asks <laughs> how does andy and finn balance the different play styles in the team is that a conscious decision or are you just going with what you feel guys i mean i have an idea when we go into the match how we should play it but it's always important that Finn gets into the mid round calling and get into the zone as he, he likes to call it. So uh, I always let him, of course, like do the tactics. I just put up my, uh, like ideas and he can take them or leave them uh, how, like how it is. But I mean, it's not like we are like completely different play styles. I would say we're actually pretty agreeing on what works and what that works. Okay. But Next wasn't the question. question... Oh. Okay, never mind. Try it again. No, the Try question is. The question is how the IGL Finn and how the coach Ragin balance different play styles in the team. From, from the players, right? Yeah, from players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, from you guys. Oh, I like that. Uh, I mean, I don't think we do much there. Like, it's up to the individual to yeah to to kind of fit in. You know, like if if one doesn't move, you have to react due to that move, etc. You know. Yeah, it comes down to what I said about train, right? Robin has a lot of freedom to do whatever he wants in pop, for example. Old school wants to peak somewhere. We build around that, and sometimes I say, no, I control the pace and the game where me and Chris is more activated, right? So it just comes down to to sacrifice that sometimes Osku gets a lot of freedom to peak. Sometimes he has to play a more supportive role because that's, I feel, that's the right call to do in the right moment, right? And I think everybody agrees that whenever I say something, that's how it is, and, and then you can take it after the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the chat keeps deleting at the top. But I'm losing messages, but there was a question from someone about which players you guys would pick to build a team um, from outside 
your own teammates. Does anybody have like a dream team from without, from outside of mouse sports? Chris, maybe you can start. Uh, what do you mean? Like four different, different players? players, and mouse players yeah, no, well. no, f- five players that you'd put together outside of mouse sports as a dream team. I don't know, like five yeah, Zyrus. This question, honestly. Five Zyrus. <laughs> Robin, what do you say? I think it's a disrespectful question to your teammates, so I wouldn't more like anyone to answer this personally. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, um, it was. Does Christian by... love Indian food? Yeah, I do. Indian, Indian food. Bala is my best friend. Oh, why are you in Indian J? <laughs> yeah, Chris J is a big fan of Indian food. He likes it. <laughs> he, he sent me some pics recently of the Indian food that he was eating. Right, yep, Chris? at five a.m. I I also yeah. got that. Nice. I got, some, uh, yeah, I got, I got okay. something else. Seven a.m. I think it was the toilet. <laughs> Yeah, the after effects, man. There, <laughs> something else. What of the of the Indian, Chris? Do you actually like it when it's like properly spicy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Needs to be really spicy. <laughs> Good stuff, okay. man. Are you still have... able to o- o- order Indian food whilst under quarantine? Or I have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have one question, it... guys. After this. Go on, watch it. Uh, go, After go this, on, yeah. He was talking. He was talking. Chat, man. Talk, talk, talk. Really it, so it was fine. It was fine. So. Okay. I can't catch the questions. Okay. I'm asking this question to Robs because it's about me and I want to know that. Can Robs sco- soar walk six roommate ship on tournaments over 10 and talk about that a bit? You don't have to talk about a bit, but just tell over <laughs> 10. What is that, bro? What do you say? How I'm roommate for you, man? I think there's two sides to that. And one is one is a solid ten, and the other part, I don't know. Um, there's times when Moxie comes to to the room at five a.m. and it's pretty hard to sleep at that at the point. He starts blasting music, Turkish rap, all all <laughs> kind of stuff. Sometimes, sometimes, but yes. Not so, I don't find it so enjoyable, but I would say it's a solid ten after <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, I will, I will. I hear the like honest opinions, so. I will take care of about it better, bro. You will not gonna hear Turkish music. You will hear now American rap, okay? It's Estonia, <laughs> Estonia no, rap. It's, it's, it's not about, rap, okay. it's not about the, it's not about the genre. It's about the, if if it's fucking five a.m. I'm trying to sleep, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so what, what I mean. Like if I was living with Voxic, I would uh, probably rip his head off. Voxic, you what? You come in the room and just start playing music off your phone, or <laughs> no? It's depend. Like I'm seeing he's awake, okay? He has a phone and he's just surfing or something. Like I probably I was in practice room and I was just played <laughs> FPL or did a stream. I'm coming back. He's on the in the room because I'm like I finished the practice late because we have a maybe day off next day or something. I'm coming. I'm seeing his own phone and you know when I'm entering the room, he's just putting the phone down and he's just like making like a role play like he's sleeping, okay? But I I'm seeing this, the you know? the room basically turns into a club. <laughs> Basically, yeah. After after I'm seeing he's awake, okay, I'm just saying, okay, then I can put some music before I sleep while I'm surfing, you know. Basically, so uh, okay, I will just do a Estonian rap this time. Would that make things better, Robin? Estonian rap or no? No, I, I didn't. I said it's not about the genre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I it's about the, it's five a.m. <laughs> it's about time. It's about time. <laughs> I'm yeah. living, at least 4 30 I'm living, fine, no? yeah i'm living in different world that's why uh sometimes happen, happen. Well, actually it's jet lag when it goes to tournament because of turkey time mm, never jet lags because I'm, I'm always awake when was that was that russia what i wasn't man he said I oh never. i'm jet lag bro no it was a joke. Ah, it's because we said jet lag then he said he's jet lag yeah, 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 came straight from yeah. us <laughs> yeah, uh, we have a a question from chris j fan 69 and his question is what does Chris J's mum think about the fact that her 29-year-old son is traveling around the world sometimes for weeks in a row and is making big money? Chris? That's actually a good question. That's very in- in- innovative, I think. <laughs> Chris, what she's, do you think uh, about that? She's pretty proud of me as far as I know. Nice. <laughs> okay. Nice, man. I'm glad she's proud of you, bro. Question. All right, guys. Any other, fo- <laughs> any, any other final questions? Um, I'm looking for I got a question for you. Yeah, oh, is, is your mother really uh, happy about you and proud of you that you're doing the house sports show? <laughs> My mom thinks the house, house sport show is brilliant, man. She tunes in, she watches it, she's like, Wow, that Chris J guy looks like a prick. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, 
She says everything else is great. Um, has what, what is some of these questions? They, they don't make sense. Adam Sen twenty three has Carrigan improved your skills since the Rooster? Question mark two. What does that mean? Rooster, I mean, like, I got think rooster. he means like if people got better since we got Carrigan, I think I do the rooster the roster i guess he means no? oh roster. the roster <laughs> i don't think he made like a <laughs> <laughs> dude i'm like what is this is this some sort of slang in another language <laughs> um what's it do you know any estonian words because of rops uh no actually he's never no satana ah maybe ah satana i know satana but it's like uh, maybe we're not it's really finished actually. Talking, uh, <laughs> or we are not listening to any Estonian music or something, so I don't know actually. And he's not I've saying actually, any, it's really uh, rare I hear Vox, uh, Robin talk uh, Estonian. Estonian, I think yeah, it's like only, only with family or something, yeah. otherwise, he never talk. Uh, like we're not hearing this. Basically. Can you give us a sample of some Estonian Rops? There it is, best case, only there with. I agree. Man, what did you Whatever say? You said you're Greetings, drink. wash your hands, uh, be be healthy. <laughs> nice. I man. felt that. Nice. Man. Nice. Yeah, wash your hands. That's a like, deep you shit. Wash your hands. Okay. Man, I'm asking you... the same question. Go on, Oscar. Go on. Then. Which, which words uh, do you know in Turkish, brother? As a roommate. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't stream. say them. <laughs> only, only some swear <laughs> words, bro. Kardesh. Kardesh. Kardesh, Kardesh, Kardesh. Yeah. Okay. And um, for the last 30 minutes, Yogurt King has been asking, Parna, do you still hesitate when you are interview someone with, how are you feeling? Um, no, I don't, because Zantarez was a very special person in that interview, and, and most people will not say that they are feeling thank you. So, no, I don't worry about that. I mean, Chris, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty thank you, yeah, right now. There we go. No, I don't worry about it at all. Um, which official game have you guys had the most fun in recently. I couldn't catch the name because the chat's moving so quickly, guys. I apologize. Hey, let me think. Official and very yeah. funny. I mean, I, I funny guess... or fun? Funny. Like, were we laughing? Yeah, but we were never laughing. When, <laughs> uh, actually, but I mean, like, e EG69. EG69, yeah, but after we finished, so, basically. Yeah. Like, yeah. after we finished, and we were full focus. <laughs> like, <laughs> A 6 to no EG was probably the most like where the mood was really, enjoyable. Really, really, really good. An enjoyable game, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Chris, Cavesto asks, what's your favorite coffee shop? So is it Starbucks <laughs> or Cafe Nero or pret a -Manger? Like, um... I, I don't really fuck with Starbucks like that because I try to oh, okay, cool, like, man. support the local shops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, Chris J's big fan of coffee, so bro, yeah. your camera, Chris. Okay, it's it's okay now. It's better now. Uh, better Smarty now. seventy eight says, Chris J, you're all my e idole, Netherland the word the win. Thank you, well, that's what Derek said. <laughs> Thank you, well. Dude, the chat's moving so quickly. Is it just me, or like it's very hard to read the questions? That's you, a very old man. <laughs> Who is the oldest here? Is it me? I'm twenty nine. I'm 29. I'm 29. Oh, no, Rage, how old? No. I'm 27, no? <laughs> how old's, how old's uh, Alan, Chris? Alan's like 15. 35 or something. Oh, 40 or something, I think. 32. 32. 32. Um, <laughs> what does Andy's sick? mom think about the family? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck sake. Uh, actually, oh, dude, the, uh, the that's a serious now. question. Like, and Andy's mom is not here in, with us anymore. She is uh, she's out shopping. Oh, okay, cool, man. It's like she's oh. dead. Uh, that's kind, of, <laughs> just said kind of awkward, man. Like, uh, kind of awkward moment. Yeah, yeah what, a bit of an awkward what moment. What do you want me to say, bro? Dude, I lost the question. The chat's like going like this. Bro. Ah, like, bro. I thought you were copying them, pal. I like step it up. Dude, I am. That's why. That's maybe the producer. Started. You have one job. You have one job, no, pal. People are purposely like spamming the chat like too quickly. I think. Um, what does Chris, Chris J freestyle. think? Oh. About being the only Dutch player in the top in a top thirty team, and what about the Dutch CS scene in general? Honestly, I don't think too much about being 
about the fact that I'm the only Dutch player. It's like whatever. I, I don't. I'm not so uh, nationalistic, you know. Yeah, you always say I'm I, a human before anything else, right? That's what's up, Pato. That's what's up. <laughs> that sounds like Chris. Yeah, it sounds like Chris when he's had a few drinks with him, you know. No, it Chris comes, it Chris sounds comes, like fun now, but it, I, Chris I really comes up like to you, puts his arm around you, and he's like, "Look, guys, we're all humans here, yeah." And you know, he, he's he's a very loving person. So Chris isn't very nationalistic to answer your question. Um, Waxik, how can you play on such a high sensitivity? Asks Juan Ito Two K. Uh, it's all about habits. I'm also answering this question like uh, very often in my stream uh, because people are asking, keep coming new guys and asking the same. So I can say one more time, I guess. It's like either like um, uh, back in the days when I was young, like we had a kind of economical pro problems and I couldn't have like a great computer, uh, basically good table. I had like small ones, small mouse, but everything was like around like cost like 10, 10 bucks, you know, five bucks, 10 bucks. So basically, um, I wouldn't uh, any any different option because I couldn't play like low low sensitivity. So that's why I made a high lens sensitivity. And for like six years or five years, I played like this. I'm talking about like when I was like 10 or something from that time, I base basically. So that's why I just used to it when uh, everything started, like my old journey in like in Turkish teams or something. I didn't even want to change because, you know, when you are playing like this, uh, I didn't want to change. And I just saw... I'm handling well to use this kind of sensitivity and the special settings, basically. It's like fit for me, you know? And uh, so that's why um, I didn't change at all. So it's just right. habit, basically, I can just say. Slim Ruin asks, have you guys got wasted together? I'll answer that question because I've never seen any of the players here under the influence of alcohol. Moving on. Um, who is the... Huh? We don't do alcohol. No, alcohol's not a thing, man. We don't. Chris is uh, only drinks coffee. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I'm just looking, trying to find some more questions here, guys, if anyone else has one to pick out. I feel like is Rennie falling asleep because the chat's moving too quickly. There are some very suspect questions here as well. Um, our moderator has kind of gone AFK. Okay. Yes, sir. Fuck, it's really fast, actually, man. Yeah, see, what sick, and you, you criticized me beforehand. Yeah. All right, so yeah. there's a question for Voxic here from Fred K14. Voxic, would you be ready to take a one on one versus the main man himself, Kenny S? And what would the result be? Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I will win. I mean, but anyway. Chris, shut up, man, for once in your Chris, life. Why do you have to interrupt? Why do you everything? always interrupt, man? Anytime <laughs> anyone says anything, you just start laughing because you want people to look at you. Why don't you just let Oscar be the star for once? Uh, okay. Uh, be, uh, start about it. I'm, I'm really pretty not, pretty good in uh, aim maps or something because I, I played a lot. I know the old <laughs> spawns, basically, you know? So nobody has a chance, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, nice reaction, bro. Yeah. Didn't you win like 5k one on one against Simple or something? Yeah. Dude, the chat is moving so quickly. Like, it's it, impossible for me to pick questions out right now. Um, can, Bala, can you stop complaining? Like, uh, you're getting hey, yeah, you're up, you're off, complaining. Chris, like, you owe me money. Oh you my know, God. You we know, have so you... many people on the stream. This sucks. I cannot read the chat, guys. Please. You know, please. as soon as this stream's over, Chris, I'm never talking to you again. So just <laughs> shut the hell up for once. Um, we never talk anyway, so I don't know. What's it, we, what is the word Iraq? Is that a bad word? Uh, that's a bad word. I think that's that's on. pretty good. More on. Oh, more on. It's a, question, dude, our chat, our chat is like out of control right now. Yeah, because they know me well, bro, in my stream. So that's why they're asking this kind of questions. Just more, more. Is that is that like a bad word? <laughs> yeah, Do it's... you think... Okay, Chris, this question is for you. Okay. It's come from A, B, C, D, E, Rain A. Do you think we can win season 11 in Pro League? Okay. I think we can win, definitely. <laughs> of course, man. I actually feel really confident, especially how we came back in this group stage now. Exactly. And why is Kerrigan still on train? We already won. I live, I live in train, bro. That's the only thing. That's team man in my, it's my cave. You got stuck there. Uh, I Kinda go out like and eat, and I always go there to sleep. Chris, there's one more question for you. Who is the best player between you and Coach Andy, and why is it Andy? 
I mean, <laughs> it's you've beat me on uh, land. So wait, I mean, wait, I'm wait. gonna be honest. Alan has beat me on on tournaments before, a long time ago. So but still, the one who sent the question was Rayan. Rayan. Who? Sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Don't know his. No. Don't know. Don't know his name. But yeah, that's a good question, though. De yeah, definitely a good question. Who has the lowest ping in game? Finn. That's like Finn. some interesting Finn, stuff. He had like no? a ping eight today or something like that. So yeah, uh, he's that's like this server man. He's <laughs> he's still on train. He didn't leave yet. That's why he's yeah, so looks still in the server man. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was with the ping boys. Yeah, the, the internet in Denmark and Sweden is extremely powerful. Um, Sadavesa asks, Woxik, who's the best Turkish player except for yourself and Zantarez? I really like don't follow this game, but I can just tell about something from FPL for FPL, uh, who is just playing like now. Um, or I, we can I can talk about actually Demise team. Uh, they were Demise before, but now now they're Turkey Turkey five. So as in game, the writing is major. Uh, is very nice, and I I guess I guess I will say pass after that. Pass, okay. Yeah, they are not they are not playing in FPL or something. That's why people are not. Maybe some of the people already forgot about them. Paz was really sick though in Space Soldiers. Really yeah, sick game. I was, think he was really good. He was really good, and uh, he's just still trying to do something for Turkey, basically in some Turkish team. I don't know why he's not also playing for some international team when he had also best English, basically. But I don't know. Um, but I will just say Paz. Yeah. Oh, and Kalix was sick. What about him? Uh, Paz is better than him. Ooh. Uh, Sepid asks, who do you think is currently the best out of the so-called fragging IGLs and why is it Carrigan? Oh, Carrigan, look at that smile, man. You like that compliment, oh. right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> look, he's giggling. He's like, Ooh. Oof, oof. Okay, so Carrigan, other than yourself then, which other IGLs do you think stack up in terms of IGL power, but also firepower? Boom, boom. I think obviously it's Glaive and Glaive. also underrated kind of Nico. I think he's really, really good visual and I think he's becoming better as an Indian beat as well. Uh, as some really upcoming, I think Blame F has really high potential. Like he, I know from a lot of Danish players and also what, have, what I've seen, he's working really, really hard to understand the game and, and can kind of like lead the team in that way. I think he's very motivational coach as well. So um, that's like three different Glaive is the obvious one, Nico a little underrated and completely uh, new and game leader in Blaif is, is going to be really good uh, in like, let's say two or three years, I think Blame is going to be uh, really high in, uh, uh, in game leader. Thank you, Finn. Uh, Frixos93, this is a question that we can all answer. Guys, when did you start playing Counter-Strike? Let's start with you, Coach Andy. First time I tried it was in 1999. Beta zero point something. Okay. Like fly with power and stuff like that. Uh, Robin, fly with yourself. power. Yeah. You could like jump and shoot down the ground, and you would vroom, levitate. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, because you did that in half life. That sounds with, reasonable. Uh, with the uh, what's it called? Ah, uh, this uh, real gun kind of thing. Yeah, no? exactly. And then yeah. you like fly backwards, and it was the same physics that was in CS in the beginning. Okay. Until okay. they added all the commands for like, uh, yeah, I'm a nerd. <laughs> Robin, what about you? I was like seven, so like 2007, I think it was. I just entered school, and that, that's when I found out. Chris? I don't remember what year it was, but I played CS 1.0 or 1.1, but like only on public servers, like not any serious gaming. Okay, and Uzge? Uh, I don't know exactly the year, but I started to play... Um... In my district, basically, if we have a like kind of um, known something like this, it's like if you not play CS in, in our district, you are not the real man. Basically, it was like this. And uh, I have been playing from like primary school time and we were doing like a internet uh, club tournaments, basically between the players, 10 versus 10 in Dust2, only using long and stuff, you know, this kind of <laughs> retarded shit. Uh, but we were doing so I was like very small. My friends. That's so just, sick, man. That's yeah, so sick. We were playing against like small kids <laughs> against the big brothers in the district also stuff. You know, all Tur Turkish player people know in the chat now because it's like a kind of uh, cultural for us, you know? It's like Counter-Strike. It's like a playing football uh, when you are a kid. 
It's awesome. And Finn, what about yourself? Uh, I know for a fact that I got my own PC in 2001, so that's where I really, really started to play a lot. And also, back then when I played on my brother's PC, you didn't have, like, you had to pay for the internet for how much megabyte you played, so I could never really play yeah, online. So from, yeah, from 2001, I got my own PC, and that's where it took really, really off with me playing a lot. Yeah. Then we picked him up. <laughs> when did you I, pick I, him up? Oh, I can't remember. Well, you were like 14, I think. So how many years ago? 2004, you picked me up in the team then. Something like that, yeah. Young Raging, going for those young boys. Yeah. I, oh, wait, I that took... sounded wrong. That it sounded wrong, guys. Like this pala, uh... yeah? I played with Kerrigan, became one Whoa. of the best in-game leaders, yeah? I took yeah. Glavin, one of the best in-game leaders now. I don't know. I'm just saying the Raging effect. <laughs> Chat's loving that. Um, I, I first played CS with CS Source uh, because it came free with Half-Life 2. And half of two is one of my favorite games. Um, and he's always been known as the cheap bastard, that Parler guy. <laughs> WQXOR asks, What's it? Do you think you could beat Parler one versus one with one hand? No. No, Osgood. Yeah, good. Good. Okay. He definitely, wait, bro. Let me finish. No, man. No, 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 bro. Just, le just leave it. No. Don't even. Yeah, no, bro. That's no. I can't. Yeah? Yeah, I can't, bro. No. Good, bro. Good, good. Respect, respect. Because if you'd said that, I would have challenged you to, 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 to try and beat me. I'm just respecting, bro. Bro, if you actually want to do a real <laughs> one versus one, I'll do you a le legit one versus one. Not AWP, though. Rifle. So, Voxy with one hand. Do you think, do you think that you're going to win, bro? No, I think I'll do better than you think I'll do. But you will beat me, of course. Ah, okay. Then, yeah, it's good. I see. I, I like that you have a confidence, bro. Yeah, bro, we could do it. It'd be fun, man. Yeah, I already beat Chris J like quite way. a few times in private. So. <laughs> Who yeah. did do that? <laughs> Who didn't do that? <laughs> All right, guys, final question before we let the guys go. You know, it's getting late. Uh, these guys need to chill. Enjoy yeah. their Fridays with their girlfriends, you know, not typical nerdy kids. So uh, but the, chat is going, <laughs> the chat is going so quickly. Um, oh, this is a good question from YM Fuck. F-U-K-K, -K, so it's not a swear word. Um, what do you guys think about the new major qualification format? I mean, they had to do something. They, yeah. they couldn't defend uh, having the same uh, teams to participate in a major lying in November, like to make sure that the, uh, what's it called? The skill and all that is, is, is there. So I, I think it's fine they did it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think what it means to Chris is probably the new one, uh, not because of the online thing, but I really enjoyed the, that you have to play the major, when you do good at the major, then you have two tournaments in between the majors for the future, which is going to give you points, like basically like Dota 2. That means the, the teams have been doing really well the last four or five months, like four months, I would say, um, in those tournaments, is the teams qualified, right? Because now they're doing it because of the should have it should have started after uh, Rio, right? After Brazil, it should have started with the major counting and two tournaments in between the major in uh, May and November. So all I feel is way better than, for example, a team like Ens and VP is legends from last year with the performance lately. Then I don't feel they deserve that spot in the in theory. And I think that that's why the European minor is always going to be tough because some teams are not getting back into the major because some teams are just stacking up like in those uh, challenging spots and, and legends. Okay. All right. Well, guys, I think that's a good point to finish things off on. Yeah. Um, yeah. The chat's moving so fast. We've answered many questions. Yeah, actually, Congrats. I have one question for Robin. Yeah. What are the three most important factors that make a good lurker? I think there's not three, but just having patience is the most important thing. And everything else just comes when or shows how good of a player you are. I've, I would also add one thing, reactions. Like to understand the information that other teammates are giving and understanding when you should go for the peak or not, right? Because it's both things. You have, you're a very patient lurker. Yeah. But you've been really, really good lately to react in these one on ones where like you go for the risk because you know if you win that frag, you're gonna like create so much space on this round winning frag, right? So I, I think, think it's it's hard hopeless. to always react correct. It's it's gonna come down 100%. to how, how how good you are in the end because the more experience you have, the better you're gonna be at. Yeah, true. Awesome. Well, thank you guys once again for 
coming on the house show. It's been a pleasure to chat to all of you over the last week. You topped your group. Except there, Chris. You know, even Chris. Andy? What? Even Chris. No, it wasn't Andy. It was Alan. Was He's it? off camera. Uh, so don't worry about okay. Andy. Don't. Yeah, uh, okay. Sorry. Um, sorry, Andy. Yeah, guys, you topped your groups. Yeah, your group. You should be very proud of yourselves. Big shout out, of course, to Frozen as well, who's not here. But thank you, uh, Ragin, for joining us. Finn, Chris, Robin, Oscar. As always, it's nice to chat. Looking forward to seeing you guys after Corona times when we can all meet up at events again. But for now, yeah, you're winning online. You're in good form. And I'm wishing you the best of luck over the rest of EPL. Anything else that you guys would like to say? Thank you, Paula. Appreciate Thank it. You, yeah, Paula. Thank you, Paula. Stay, staying home. Thank Don't you for hosting us, Paula. Paula. Wash your hands. Shout out to our producers. Yeah, can you go wash your hands now, Paula? Wash your hands. <laughs> Use some uh, Colonia. Uh, our guys understood already. Uh, and don't for, don't forget to help your stepsister, guys. Let's go. Wait, there, <laughs> my stepmom is uh, stuck in the dryer. Be right back. Bye. <laughs> stepmom. Go help it. Awesome. But yeah, and of course, a massive shout out to Rene, who helped us out with this, um, who works at Mouse Sports. He's their social media guy. He's essentially been our producer for this. Talk. And wait, my, my stepfather needs something. Oh, his stepdad. <laughs> um, and then, of course, Mouse Show, uh, the, sorry, Mouse Sports for setting up the house show, coming up with the idea. We hope that you guys, as fans of the team, have enjoyed this. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh God! Um, yeah, we that we, got wild, Alan. No, let's uh, we, cut the stream, guys. Yeah, we 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 hope you. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys, as fans, have um, appreciated the opportunity to get to know uh, the the players and, and staff on this team a little bit better. It's been my pleasure to host it. And oh, one sec, guys, my stepbrother needs some help. So I'll, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Paula is also needing help now. I'm so sweaty, boys. Whoa! Whoa. What's the sound? Paradise <laughs> ringing. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys. Need some help with the cooking. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I watched that skin, bro. Oh my god! One second, guys. I can't hear you. You can recognize you from sort of website, actually. God. <laughs> I forgot how tiring it was to cook food, man. Oh, so relaxing afterwards as well. Anyway, yeah, that, that'll be it from us. Guys, I think much love and peace. See you. Let's peace. all check on our step relatives, yeah? <laughs>